Hey guys, a comic girl here, and today I'll be counting down the top 10 rarest My Little Pony trading cards. This list will only consist of official MLP trading cards from series 1 through 3, and CCG cards don't count. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with number 10, series 1 trading cards first printing. The series 1 trading cards are not rare on their own, but what makes these first prints special is that there were many errors that were overlooked when they were first released. For example, they said that Tank was Pinkie Pie's pet, and that Shining Armor had a pet. Most of these errors were fixed in the second printing, so consider yourself lucky if you own one of these errors. Number 9, Series 2 Derby Promo. Released at Everfree Northwest in 2013, this was a free punch card that was offered at the convention, meaning as long as you had a badge to get into the convention, you could get the card for free. With Derby being so popular and not many people attending the convention, this card can be kind of hard to get a hold of. Number 8, All Box Toppers Series 1 through 3. Box toppers can only be obtained by purchasing a whole box of trading cards. The special card will be placed on top of the 24 packs that come in each box, and there are 4 box toppers per series. The Series 1 and 2 cards were special gold cards, and the Series 3 cards were special lenticulars. While Series 1 box toppers are a little easier to get a hold of than Series 2 and 3, all these cards are pretty hard to get. Number 7, DJ Pwn 3 Promo. Released at Big Apple Pony Con in 2013, the only way you could get this card was by purchasing a special DJ Pwn 3 poster. Since this wasn't a punch card, not many people actually wanted to buy a poster just for the card. On top of it being a limited released card at this convention, the card is considered hard to find for a good price. Number 6, Mod Pie Promo. Released at BronyCon in 2016, much like the DJ Pwn 3 card, the mod card could only be obtained by purchasing a $20 poster. This was the last Series 3 card that would be released, and since not that many people wanted to pay $20 for a poster and a card by itself, the mod card is pretty sought after. Number 5, Applejack Promo. This Series 1 Applejack card was released in 2012 at Hasbro's New York Comic Con booth and other smaller conventions across the United States. While this card was free, not many people knew where to get it, making it one of the more expensive promos out there. Number 4, Series 3 Alternate Puzzle Pieces. This 9-piece trading card puzzle set was released in limited quantities in exclusive Walmart trading card 3-packs. These cards were never re-released anywhere else, and many Walmarts never received these exclusive 3-packs. All of this combined makes it extremely hard to own a complete puzzle set. Number 3, Series 1 Rarity Promo. The first promo card to ever be released. This card was released at BronyCon 2012 as a free punch card for all attendees. Only 4,000 people attended the convention, and not many of these cards were made. Even those who did go to the convention didn't know that they were giving out a free card. This, and because of the card's history being released at the first biggest Brony convention, makes this card one of the most sought after. Number 2, Series 1 Rainbow Dash Promo. This card was released in limited quantities at the New York Comic Con back in 2012. Probably the most expensive promo card you can get. If you want to add this card to your collection, expect to pay a hefty amount for her. Number 1, any official autograph card, any series. Probably the hardest cards to get. The only way to get a Series 1 or Series 2 official autograph card is by having a winning sweepstakes code on the back of the location card found in the packs. Series 3 made it a bit easier by having autograph cards in actual packs along with the sweepstake code. While this is the case, autograph cards in packs appear only one in every case of boxes, with each case having 72 boxes. Consider yourself extremely lucky if you have an official autograph card. So, do you own any of these rare cards? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching.